Students at a Navajo Nation school have gone the last five years with dirty, smelly water. Now they say they've had enough and they've asked a national group for some help. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen spoke with the students and has their story. Kim, the students at St. Michael's Association for Special Education say they're used to living with dirty water, but they're excited that's finally about to change. Our tap water is black and stinky. This is the reality for the students at St. Michael's Association for Special Education in the Navajo Nation. And it's been a problem for at least five years at their school about 20 miles outside of Gallup. We had to, to buy our water at the store and give it to each class. And constantly having to buy water has gotten expensive. Some of my coworkers' classrooms, because they have, you know, six or seven students in their class, they're going through multiple cases of water a week. That's why they called Dig Deep for some help, a California-based nonprofit that brings clean water to out-of-the-way places across the country. We're going to capture that water as it enters the property, and we're going to build a little water treatment plant with three different water um, filtration processes. We'll make sure that not only is clean water flowing onto campus, but it's not getting dirty anywhere else. The organization spends at least six months on projects like this, but expects to have clean water for St. Michael's by June. The timeline here is really accelerated because of the fact that this is a special needs school and things need to happen quickly because the water is so unsafe. With Dig Deep's help, the students and staff at St. Michael's are just looking forward to finally having clean water right at their fingertips. If we got clean water, we wouldn't have to use bottled water. No, no bottled water. We wouldn't have to go to the store <clears throat> to buy the water for the cafe. The cafe. And we could drink right out of the tap water. Now the project is expected to get started in June and finished by the end of the month. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Jeannie. Now, if you'd like to help donate to the students at St. Michael's, we've posted the details on krqe.com and on our app.